Hey guys, this is James with Isotropic, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a trendy grain background using a JavaScript library called grained.js. So, a grainy background is like the one that you see here, and I don't know if you'll actually be able to see it on the screen recording, but if we zoom in, you'll notice that there's a little flickering, grainy, kind of like TV background overlay on top of this image. Um, and this is a unique trend that I've seen picking up over the past couple of months. Um, many uh, web design portfolio websites are starting to use this trend, as well as high-end e-commerce websites. And I've been using grainy backgrounds for the past couple of months on some of my e-commerce, WooCommerce builds for clients. Um, and I think this adds a unique effect to any page and just makes it a little more uh, unique and adds depth to the page. And I just think it looks really good. I was introduced to this idea through a CSSTricks.com article where they talked about using CSS only to create an animated grainy texture by overlaying it using uh, basically a background image and overlaying it and then animating it in CSS. And I've used this method in the past to add a grainy effect to a page uh, and you'll see that this is kind of how it works. But the main problem for me at least is that it messes up my Z index and it messes up some positioning. And if I'm doing uh, hidden hidden overflows and something like that, it, it just becomes really complicated to get to work in a page. Specifically because I use Oxygen Builder to create the majority of my websites um, and WordPress, then it just becomes difficult and complex. So uh, this is the website that they link to and I I think it, the grainy effect adds a nice, a nice little look to this website as well. So just something to show you there. So instead of using CSS, I wanted to use uh, JavaScript and I wanted to see if I could find a library that was created specifically for this effect before creating my own. And what I came across was grained.js, which is a six year old library that works perfectly in 2021. Um, and you'll notice that it's pretty simple and easy to use the instructions are as followed as follows you just add your script to your html page i add it to the footer of my page uh, then you initialize the library and then you specify your options pretty simple pretty basic and i'll show you exactly how to do that right now so you take the grains.min.js file download it uh, create the js file itself you can also just copy and paste all this code uh, create a notepad file, paste it in, and then save it with a .js file extension. That creates your JavaScript file. Then you upload it to your server for your website, and then you call it into, into the page using a script tag. Because I use Oxygen Builder on WordPress, I use a script manager called Advanced Scripts. I'll link that in the description below. And the way I do this is instead of going the script tag method and adding that to the footer of my WordPress website, what I'll do is create a new advanced scripts instance, load the JavaScript from the URL, hook it into the WordPress footer, and then upload the file to my website, insert the URL, and then save it. And what this does is it uses PHP to, to push the script tag into the footer of my website rather than me having to add this to my individual page or go ahead and code and get into the the source code of my website, which in WordPress would be a theme, but that's disabled in Oxygen and add it that way. Whatever the case is, you need to add the grained.js or grained.min.js script into the footer of your website. Once you've done that, the script is now being called onto all of your pages. You need to initialize the script and apply it to a specific section on your website. So if we look at the documentation here, you'll see that it's very easy to do. You just use this code and you change out your element ID with the unique ID of whatever element you want to apply the grain effect to. Then you also specify your options. So in this example, here's my example, and this is what you see in the thumbnail. And the grain effect is very minimal, and I don't even know if you'll see it based on the screen recording, but the grain effect is very minimal, but it adds like a unique vintage look to this page. And you'll see that there's content on top of the grainy effect, uh, and an image below the grainy effect. So the way I do this is first I create my page. So this is made from a section, then a div, then heading and text. 
and the code's being called onto this page in the footer. Uh, and all I need to do is use JavaScript to initialize it and apply it to wherever I want it to go. So because I'm using Oxygen, I add a code block and then add the JavaScript into the code block. If you're using any other website uh, builder, all you need to do is just add this JavaScript somewhere on the page. So first I set up my options. These are the production options that I usually use. Um, you'll notice that the difference here from the documentation is that I set the grain opacity to be 0 0.5, the density to be 0 0.25, the width to be 0 0.15, and the height to be 0 0.15. Then once the options are set, I initialize the script and I initialize it onto the, the wrapper ID. Uh, and then I also call in the options. And the wrapper ID is simply the ID of this section. So you can change the ID by going here and just clicking on the ID, at least in Oxygen Builder, clicking on the ID and then changing it to whatever you want it to be. Um, I like applying full page grain effects so they it, it goes onto every element on the page. Um, and to do this, you would either go and uh, add a unique ID to your body and then initialize the effect onto the body ID. In WordPress, body IDs don't usually exist, and with Oxygen Builder, they definitely don't exist. So the way I do this for my Oxygen Builder following, I will create a template, which includes a header, a footer, and then inner content. And then this is applied as a catch-all header footer uh, template. And then I'll surround the header, inner content, and footer with another div, and then apply um, a custom ID to that div. So the, the div ID would be wrapper and then inside of that div would be the header the footer and the inner content and then i would just apply the grain effect to the entire div which surrounds all of the page content and then we'll apply the div to all of that content um, and that's basically it you can change your specific options so here's our initial effect if i wanted to change my options and make it a lot more prominent what i would do is change the opacity to maybe 0.75, make our density one, make our width one, and make the height one. And you'll see that there's a pretty major change on the page if it decides to upload, which update, which sometimes it doesn't. But you'll see that the change is pretty drastic and you'll get a much bigger grainy background. And then if I remove this image altogether, you'll see how the grain is applied to the background. So this is, and actually it just updated. So our image is still there, but because we made the opacity a lot heavier, this is now the grain background. So um, that's really how you do it to recap everything and everything's gonna be linked in the description below. If you wanna add a unique grainy effect to your page, the first thing to do is go to grained.js. This is the GitHub. It's gonna be linked in the description below. Download grained.min.js, upload it onto the server, insert it into the footer of your um, WordPress website or any website using a script tag or a script manager like advanced scripts. Um, that's going to call in your, your JavaScript onto every page and then on the pages that you want the effect to be on, you initialize the JavaScript by using the following code, um, grained and then specify the element that you want this grain to apply to. And then if you have options that you want to set, call in the options and then specify the options as a variable array on top of that initialization. You can set the animation, the width, the pattern height, the grain opacity, the grain density, the grain width, and the grain height. And that's really it. A uh, pretty basic library, I'd say. Lightweight, two kilobytes. Just follow those instructions. I'll link you to the GitHub. I'll also link you to this CSS tricks, CSS only grain background article which I find found didn't work for me but it might work for you and if you want to add a unique grainy background not like this but one that actually looks good um, I definitely recommend checking out the grained.js library it's just a really well done very lightweight uh, very basic and also timeless because it's six years old and it's still working now perfectly great library to add that that just unique effect that adds more depth to your page, to your site. Um, I guess we're not going to get our uh, settings to, well, let's see. I guess it's not going to update for you, so I can 
Oh, there you go. And this is what I usually use as my production settings. And you probably can't even see it on your uh, the the screen recording of this. But if you add this tiny effect of grain to a page, it adds a unique vintage look. Um, and it just adds more depth to the page. And I think it makes things look a little more professional and unique. So if you liked this effect, check out the links in the description below. Uh, give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel for some unique um, web design effects, usually an oxygen builder, but these can be applied to virtually any uh, CMS or method of website creation out there. Uh, so drop a subscription and I will see you in the next video.